in the sense of a cover-up, you nail it. You hit technical application here really well. You apply the ink to the skin in a way that gets rid of the underlying tattoo. That real deep, rich black that you get down there puts so much depth into the tattoo. And when you have those leaves, you can balance the black everywhere. Then it always camouflages nicely and somebody can't go, oh, there's the cover-up. It's very beautiful and technically it is pretty perfect. Morning, everybody. You have six hours to complete your tattoo. The judges will be looking for highly imaginative art that turns bad work into something your canvases can be proud of. This is gonna be awesome, man. We're gonna do something really beautiful for you. The rules of thumb when approaching a cover-up are you're not covering a tattoo. What you're doing is you're actually camouflaging it. The darks are always gonna be there. The blacks certainly always gonna be there. So what you're trying to do is work with what's there and make something brand new for the person. It's a good choice for a cover-up because it's lighter. There's no bold, dark outlines on it. All ready? Are you happy with it? Yeah. It looks awesome. Awesome. Made you go to koi fish. I've always wanted one, and it just never happened. You know, I do realistic type stuff. The koi fish itself, I'm confident with it. I traced the cover-up. The bulk of the body falls right over top of it. The only challenge for me right now is to get it done in six hours, you know? I lay down 90% of my clients just to make them comfortable and feel at ease throughout the whole entire tattoo, and that helps so much. Tommy, come on up front. It was definitely tricky. And even in the parts where the former tattoo might show a little bit, you put wispy lines to help make it look like there's stuff going on there. Shane. You got to cover up a pretty faded tattoo to begin with. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Tattoo is clean, precise, smooth. The tattoo is solid, the cover up works, but the actual artwork didn't line up. The head is much bigger than the tail. The tail's not big enough to propel the head. You didn't hit the mark. Tommy and Shane, why do you think you two are standing here? Hopefully. Commend us a little bit for putting out a good effort. I would hope to think that I'm not getting eliminated yet. Good news is you guys are in the top two. And Tommy, the judges feel that you did the best work. Thank you. He really worked a design to fit right over top. Nice job. Thank you, Chris. For today's elimination tattoo, we're testing your ingenuity by tattooing a cover-up. You have six hours, and your time starts now. You ready for this? Definitely. Ingenuity is very necessary to be able to do a cover-up. There's a lot of different elements, understanding the positioning of the tattoo, and being able to disperse light and dark evenly, so it's not so obvious where the cover-up is. Let me show you where to go. My canvas wants a Celtic cross with a dragon wrapped around it. And I took those key elements and kind of combined them into something that would be a little bit better. This is going to start off black and gray, but as it fades yeah, out, yeah. you see right here, it's going to go into all those reds and everything like that, dude. It's amazing. The judges want you to think outside of the box and come up with a creative way to get rid of a tattoo. Not only did I do that, but I have also created a better design than what the guy originally wanted. I have to win this one. I have to. This week, you were asked to tattoo a cover-up. We're testing your ingenuity. Sarah. This guy didn't necessarily have a specific design in mind. He really liked my paintings, so that was the first thing I kind of focused on. Her face is so realistic, and the detail in the eye leads me to believe that you could have detailed those fingers out. Clint. How do you feel about this? It's a horse with wings, and it was dumb, so I gave him something badass. You really stepped up to the plate of this challenge and went yard. You totally blew our mind and made an idea 10 times better. Jesse, you're up. Were you happy to get this canvas? I was happy the fact that he was open to whatever. It was a big mess of a cover up. I think you did a pretty good job masking that. I'm not typically a new school guy, but I like what you've done. Are you gonna do anything else this ride? Definitely. And the person who's gonna cash the check is the person that can do anything that walks into the shop, you're going to have to show other stuff. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Jesse. Undeniably, you did the smoothest, cleanest, biggest, baddest tattoo of the day. 
and you deserve the victory. Thank you. Today, you must cover up a prison tattoo, proving your flexibility. You have six hours to tattoo, and your time begins now. Get it on. Do it, man. Tattoo Baby is doing a nice tattoo, other than the fact that the finger is not attached to the hand and it has arthritis. She spent a whole season hearing that the fingers are one of the most important things. Don't f them up. She should know better. This week, we tested your flexibility by asking you to cover prison tattoos. Craig. My client, one of the badass eagle man. What happens in this tattoo for me is that it's flat. These colors aren't popping as hard as they could because there's no black. Had you have put black, it would look that much more dynamic. You have the ability to do a really tough looking tattoo and you obviously can draw. You have a winning combination, you gotta put it to practice. Jimmy. Were you happy with your cover up? Part of the challenge is being flexible. But what I had to do, I think I did good. You did achieve the cover up. The white, that was the thing that threw me for a loop. To pump this much white in there, most of the time, this will turn into almost a keloid looking result. I tried to get rid of all that heavy black area because I didn't want it to look like a giant eight ball. A year down the road, it will not have the same brilliance it has today. People need to understand that that's not what they're going to have for the rest of their life. Tattoo baby. You got a lot to live up to in this competition, but you're gonna give a lot of people a hard time. So let the battle begin. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Tattoo Baby. Even with the missing anatomy of the hand, you did a very beautiful tattoo. Smooth shading, nice color, really good job. Thank you. You have six hours to show adaptability with a cover-up. Your time begins now. Let's do this. All right. There you go. You know, when I saw that sketch, I was like, oh my god, this is going to be awesome. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's the type of effect I want to make. My goal today is definitely to outperform Scott and Maddie. Yeah, bud. Now, when the competition's getting tough, that's when I plan on shining. I'm gonna stomp this tattoo. Awesome, dude. Thanks, man. You okay? Oh, good. $100,000 tattoo right here. Hell yeah! That's it. Wow. That's badass, dude. Oh, my god. You badass or what? That is awesome. Today? You had to show adaptability by transforming tattoos that your canvases regret into tattoos they can wear proudly. Based on your work, two artists will be closing shop. Halo. As far as the cover-up goes, you had it easy. But this tattoo has such solid saturation over a big area of skin. And whether it's a cover-up or not, this is a great tattoo. You did a great job applying this. This is soft tissue. It can get overworked. It can look beat up. Yours looks healed. Scott. It was one of the bigger tattoos to cover up. I think you approached it the right way with the hot tones away from where the cover up is. If I looked at this tattoo, I wouldn't even think it was a cover up. People can shake their heads or do whatever they want behind you, but the tattoo's damn good, and a lot of people that are shaking their heads aren't. Before we send you back to the loft, the judges have determined a winner. Scott and Halo. You have the top two tattoos of the day. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Halo. Good job. Halo, the saturation you used in this tattoo, the way you pulled off the solid fields of blue, very nice. Did a great job. Congratulations, Halo. All right, artists, you have six hours to do your tattoos. This is your last chance to prove that you deserve a spot in the live finale. Your time begins now. Let's do it, man. The biggest thing is going to be working with the existing piece that you have. OK. Trying to turn that circle into a real circle. I'm going to retouch this tattoo instead of covering it up, and then tattoo landmarks from around the world as a collage around his arm. Time permitting, if Berlin works, then we'll do Central America. Is that sounds all right great. with you? It sounds great. Awesome. Yeah. I can nail every single skill in this one piece. All right, buddy, you ready? I'm here to win, and somebody else is going to go home because that spot in the finale is mine. I can already see it now. Millions of people holding signs that says, we want sausage. <laughs> that would be pretty sweet. 
The Sausage's artwork looks generic and very clip art and cut and pasted to me. There is no way that Sausage's tattoo is gonna beat my tattoo today. Wouldn't be a tattoo if it didn't hurt like <laughs> 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 I know, right? <laughs> I've been kicking ass this whole time. I gotta just keep doing what I'm doing. No pain, no gain. When I'm done with this tattoo, you're not gonna tell it's a cover up and it's gonna be screaming Scott Marshall all over it. I'm doing something bold by putting a lot of bright canary yellow into this piece to really just push it over the top. Saucy. Have you seen uh, Scott's and Daddy's? Scott's, you can still see the cover up right through it. Oh no. Using yellow as a cover up is a huge no no because you can still see the old piece underneath it. This might be enough to send his ass home. Yeah. Take a look. Wow. Oh, it is amazing. Holy dynamic. Artists, this was your last chance to prove that you deserve to compete in the live finale for $100,000, a feature in Inked Magazine, and the title of Ink Master. Sausage. You reworked Melissa's tattoo. To try to do a cover-up and built in a ton of black didn't make sense. So I decided to add something that's a lot more bold and stylish to the airplane itself, and then build a sleeve that he can add on to at any time. This is actually going to be very hard for people to work off because the quality is really high. This is showing versatility. To come out here and show, I just did these big, bright flowers. Now I'm going to do this really fine line detail and really show some nice, soft black and gray is top notch. Scott. Overall, the color palette is strong. Really solid, clean application. It has your signature all over it. Up close, you can definitely see the Nautical Star ghost outline through there. If this could have been moved over just a little bit to keep that out of that yellow lip, that would have been better. No matter where I moved it, it was poking out here and poking out there, so. But you know yellow's not covering. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Sausage. Nice, dude. It showed a lot of ingenuity in putting this design together and really thinking outside the box instead of just doing a big cover-up. You've earned your spot in the live finale. Wow, thank you. Congratulations, man, you deserve it. All right, guys, you have six hours to help your canvases make a fresh start by covering up a hate tattoo. And your time starts now. Tickets ass. There you go. Today, these artists are going to be covering up hate tattoos. They really have to put everything aside and do the best cover up they possibly can. What's going on? What's the story behind that? I was just brainwashed when I was younger. Yeah, and when I got older and had kids, I realized, man, what the hell? I'm trying to do a 360. Well, I'd love to help, man. That's oh, what yeah, I'm I appreciate for. that. Right, right on. Ingenuity is always going to play into the cover up. You should never be able to pick out a section where you know the cover up is. That's the biggest fail. When I saw it from across the room, I was like, I see a flower right there. The canvas I gave myself was probably one of the hardest cover ups in there because it's so big. But I know that I can cover anything with a flower. I do flowers all the time, so it wasn't really far stretch. I've designed all the petals to curl in right around that circular shape that's part of the anarchy symbol. I can just kind of keep all my darks on the tips, and I can use the shadows that are already there. Yeah. Everybody knows it's going to get a really nice tattoo. Let's get this over with, and let me get to the damn finale. I've been trying to get rid of about 20 years, man. When I first got a tattoo, I was like 13, 14 years old. I was like an idiot during the Aryan Brotherhood. That ain't cool. That's not where I want to be. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're red, black, brown, yellow, green, whatever. Unfortunately, I've been a victim of hate. When I was wanting to get an apprenticeship to learn how to tattoo, I was told that the color of my skin was going to hinder my chances. To be a minority, it's actually driving me even more to do a killer job. So how'd you get rid of the swasty? I put a little chinger in the gravestone. We're burying the past, so it's perfect. Can't wait for all the stress to go off my shoulders. To be able to help this guy change his life is a complete honor. There ain't nobody going to beat this one. Let him know how it's done. Today, you had to show ingenuity by covering a hate tattoo. James, you're up first. You chose a pretty large cover-up for yourself. First thing I saw was a floral pattern that would fit her and just get rid of that huge tattoo without being really dark. You've given this woman something very feminine, something very beautiful. Of the day, this woman's life has been transformed more dramatically than anybody else, and she has you to thank for it. 
there are some lines that are less than perfect in here, especially in these top flowers on the outside. There's some areas where you have just packed white all the way up to those lines, and the lines that are crooked and the lines that are shaky, it makes them really stand out. But something like this, with this much detail, close inspection, you're gonna find a lot of discrepancies. Feeling confident about putting this many lines into this type of skin in this area, knowing that you're up against six hours was a ballsy move. This panned out for you in that sense. You definitely achieved the cover-up, the shading that you have going from dark to light, you disperse it throughout. And that way, it's not an obvious cover-up. It's a strong tattoo, and it's a lot of tattooing in a short amount of time. Anthony. You have so many nice details in the hair. You have really fine, fine lines. You create this kind of ratty feeling, but it still shows perfect line work in there. This thing really, really shows strong today. You did a great job. Judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Anthony. Today, you must cover a tattoo in a spot that is often a source of embarrassment, a tramp stamp. I knew that damn tramp stamp fad would come back to bite me in the ass. <laughs> tramp stamps became a fad because their designs were typically small and their placement was easy to hide. However, the placement of the tramp stamp on the extreme lower back makes it a serious challenge to cover tastefully. Tattooing over already tattooed skin just makes the tattoo process that much more difficult. If an artist doesn't have good technical application, there's no point in tattooing because you're just gonna put them through unnecessary amounts of pain and see the tattoo underneath anyways. Wow, your skin takes ink like butter. Oh, good. I came into this competition needing to prove exactly who I am. And with every single day that I'm here, I get more and more comfortable in my own skin. Are you coming to Fort Lauderdale handcrafter or what? I hope oh. so. Dude. Now's my time to shine and prove that I can win time and time again. So with these flowers, going for the other side now. What color are you doing them? I'm going for red, because that way uh -huh. I can do the butterfly blue and that blue little one that you got here to match with the other one. Oh, OK. And then you got like hot and cold. This canvas is awesome. She's letting me do my thing and just reworking this tattoo and adding to it. Looks beautiful, I gotta say. Nikki's thinking that I'm gonna drop the ball with this tattoo. Her strategy's definitely not gonna work today. This is lovely. Gian's not even really doing a cover-up. He's just reworking what was already there. It definitely doesn't meet the challenge of a cover-up. Today, you had to show bulletproof technical application by covering a tramp stamp. Nikki, let's start with you. In the sense of a cover-up, you nail it. You hit technical application here really well. You apply the ink to the skin in a way that gets rid of the underlying tattoo. That real deep, rich black that you get down there puts so much depth into the tattoo. And when you have those leaves, you can balance the black everywhere. Then it always camouflages nicely, and somebody can't go, oh, there's the cover-up. It's very beautiful, and technically, it is pretty perfect. There's no trace of the existing tattoo, and that was a massive tattoo that you covered up. Great job. Thanks. Kelly. This does not look like a cover-up on any level. This is my favorite tattoo from you so far. The color palette is very nice. It's laid out very well, but where you really excel in this tattoo is your technical application. Not very many people can create these shadows that well, pull off these tones that well. I think it's perfect. Your technical application is flawless in this. Gian. Instead of covering up, you did a reworking. Just try to fix it and make a pretty tattoo. Try to make the best of what I had. Is it fair that everybody else covered up an existing tattoo and you reworked one? I feel like this was the most responsible choice to make and would have been a really, really hard one to cover. This is 100% the right move to give this canvas the best tattoo. He covered up every bad design and line of this tattoo with a new beautiful line and design of the tattoo. And the quality and the technical application of which he applied this whole tattoo is amazing. All right, judges, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Kelly's tricks outweigh Gian's. Let's look at Nikki's tattoo and look at what she covered, because that's a full-on cover-up. It is. And that's a full-on beautiful tattoo. It is. Robert, which way are you leaning? I'm leaning on Nikki. My vote is for Kelly. I believe you hit the challenge. I believe your artistry is on point. Looks pretty technically sound to me. Chris, 
I'm with Nikki. It was a large cover-up, and she laid it out perfectly and executed it like a champ. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Nikki. Thank you. All right, artist, you have six hours to tattoo a cover-up, and your time starts now. Let's do it. Sweet. <laughs> Today we're testing detail, and the way that detail works in cover-ups is understanding how to actually create a cover-up that doesn't look like one. Wow. I don't want to see big black or dark spots, and they don't need to do a tattoo six times bigger than the cover-up to make it disappear. Woo! Look at those crispy lines. Those lines look good. I hope so. There's a lot of them. The most difficult aspect of this tattoo is just getting it done in six hours because the cover-up itself will be the body of the owl and then proportionately the wings are gonna have to be this big. I'm taking a huge risk right now and if it doesn't pay off, I'm gonna be Today, you had to tattoo a cover-up. Men's team, let's start with you. Jason. It's a very intimidating tattoo to try to cover up. You do a great job really punching in the blacks. A lot of detail, not only with line work, but with your directional shading. That thing was so faded out that your light shading pretty much becomes that same tone that's underneath, so it's very easy to camouflage. I think you gave this guy a reason to take his shirt off again. Great job. Yeah, thanks. Laura. It's a really clean sticker tattoo for me. As far as it's serving for a cover-up, it definitely does its job. As impressive as the tattoo is, I've seen it a bunch of times. But soon enough, you're gonna have to... Oh, I'll give you something else, trust me. I'll send you a letter from the finale. It'll probably be pretty cool there. Good job, Laura. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Jason. Head back to the loft. Wow. Everybody's gonna be looking at your neck now. In a good way, though, now. <laughs> this week, we're testing your use of value the degree of lightness and darkness in your tattoo. Value is being able to show dark to light with smooth transitions, basic tattooing 101. For this flash challenge, we have a special group of canvases for you. Each of today's canvases has suffered a severe injury. Wow. You will have to transform their gnarly scars oh, no. into phenomenal tattoos. The hardest part about working with scars is that you're not tattooing regular skin that is smooth. You could break the skin, traumatize it more, it's tough. Scars are often extremely sensitive. Because they have excess collagen, they don't hold ink as well as undamaged skin. So it's even more challenging to smoothly transition from dark to light values. Let's meet your canvases. This is Janet. Her scars are from second and third degree burns on her chest. Sharif was impaled when a bed collapsed on him. Rodney had a dog bite on his calf. Suzanne's scars are from getting tumors removed from her back. Dave, he was stabbed in the back in a bar. This is Jimmy. His scars from surgery on his esophagus. Heather was in a motorcycle accident. Darcy had a mole removed from her shoulder. Next is Bill. His scar is from life-saving surgery he had after an accident. I do not want the guy with the scar running all the way up his stomach. Sharon had a procedure on her hip. And Joe had a knee surgery for a baseball injury. Artists, you have four hours to transform your canvas's scars into tattoos they can be proud of. And your time starts now. Let me take a look at that scar before I start drawing. I think that maybe the best bet would be kind of sneak that right up against that. We decided to go with a really beautiful pink flower in order to show really smooth values. The flower that I found has really great blacks in it that transition perfectly into reds, into pinks, into a light pink, all the way into skin. Yo. Joshua's tattoo is a bull tattoo just because it's safe. He's really not creative at all. He can't draw. He's a photocopy machine. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time's up, machine's down. No more ink. You turned out cool. Joshua, you got the easiest canvas. It seems like a bit of a cop out. So, Jackie. You really get that rich, dark value. A lot of good use of dark light shading. And the way you use the texture of his skin to represent where the sand is, very clever. Yes, 
I think you did a good job with the shading where you show the values and you did the ghost shading inside the flames, which really improves on this. And as this heals, it'll soften up and it'll look a lot better. Thanks. Chris? In this design, you didn't give yourself a big area to actually exhibit a real big example of value, but in the brown, it is really dark and it does have a smooth transition to light, and that's good. Thank you, sir. Oh, yay, finally, I get some positive response from these dudes. Hopefully, it's the start of a new beginning. Tattoo baby. As far as value goes, you have a very good range of dark black underneath the crest of the wing fading out into the feathers. A lot of good different color values throughout this tattoo, from the beak to the head to the neck to the tufts around the shoulders. Jason. The value that you got in this, the dark to lights, you have some nice areas where it's gonna soften up nicely. The soft water in the bottom, that'll blend in nicely into that scar tissue in the center. Thank you so much. Jimmy. I really like the placement. I like the way the jaw rides that scar. Overall, the value that you got out of that nose, the way that your fades go from what your darkest tone is to nothing is what we look for when we look at black and gray. Cool. Craig, how did you guys come up with this concept? I thought that if I could somehow incorporate the dog riding me, it kind of saved me a lot of explaining to do. I would never know there's any scar tissue there because what Craig did was enhance it. The dog is where you displayed your talents in this challenge, using your light grays and dark grays and blacks to really give this the value and the richness that what we're looking for. Did a great job. Thank you. Craig is definitely proving to be a big threat in this competition. Joey? I think the value really came through in this, the nose works with the scarring itself, so it takes the eye just off the scar. What's up, Kyle? As far as use of value goes, you really got some smooth transitions of color. I like the way you use the hot and cold to really offset the color palette. It looks good. Made rich. The wings are a little bit darker. I know they are gonna lighten some because you have some gray in there. I think you could have showed a little more transition there. Joshua. Why did you select this canvas? She had a pretty simple scar, and I needed a day where I could feel relaxed and stress-free. You had the easy ride, but you made the most out of it. Amazing value representation in there with how rich this thing is in the dark parts and how soft this thing is in the light parts. Perfect. For this flash challenge, we asked you to transform scars into phenomenal tattoos. Some of you succeeded. Tattoo baby. You really showed rich tones and nice fades, and you did a really good job putting it on a knee, which is already a difficult area. Joshua, real rich color, nice transitions from darks to lights. That was one of my favorites of the day. Thank you. Greg. Another really well done tattoo. The way that you made the dog bite using the scar that he had, great job, man. The judges have decided. The winner of today's Flash Challenge is... Tattoo Baby. I feel like I needed this. I am so excited. I was actually told, Joshua, this is perfect, and then Tattoo Baby wins, which is total bull to me. Some of the most meaningful tattoos celebrate a personal victory. One of the greatest triumphs is surviving cancer. Your canvases today have all survived one of the deadliest forms, breast cancer. Many of them beat cancer by having a mastectomy to remove the breast. Some women choose to reconstruct their breasts, but the scars remain. And these scars are in a very sensitive area. So it's even more challenging to pull off a flawless tattoo, but that's exactly what you must do for these canvases. As a cancer survivor, I know what it's like to stare death in the face. This tattoo represents life, and it represents the good things that come out of fighting. This is really a big part of doing what we do, is working with our canvases. It's not about you. It's about them. We care that you give them what they want. Today, we have to do the most important tattoo that we've ever had to do. It's one of the only tattoos you can give somebody that actually helps change their life. The human canvases will be randomly assigned. Canvases, one by one, please choose a skull to determine your artist. Scott. Sausage. Halo. Maddie. You have the rest of the night to consult with your canvases. And tomorrow, you'll have six hours to tattoo. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Good luck. All right.
these canvases are looking for great work out of these final four artists, and that's what we're hoping for as well. This is a way to not only commemorate what they've been through, but to beautify it. These guys need to really step up and give them everything they can. My idea was a um, dandelion on the side, blowing across, transforming into butterflies. I hope that getting this tattoo is really going to make me feel like I have my life back. Cancer doesn't own me. I'm just nervous. I know, I know it's very <laughs> scary. You just put your faith in me. I'm gonna give you a beautiful tattoo. It's gonna be a breeze. Like say we're working right in here. Your scar, you won't even see it. Okay, sounds great. I wanted to get the cross on the one side because my mom died from breast cancer and then flowers on the other side. I want a flowering vine right. across the whole chest. Are you trying to go where the nipples would tend to be? Yes, or yes. okay. I feel like a war went on in my chest. This is like a battlefield, and I would rather have something beautiful. It's just stand straight shoulders and everything. Lori's scars are not symmetrical. This one, you're, you're really, really round. You're a little bit concave on this one. So I have to take a different plan of action. What I'm gonna try to do is just make sure that whatever we place over here lays evenly. There is not gonna be a symmetry between the two pieces. It's a risk. I could be in trouble. You have six hours to finish your tattoos. Your spot in the live finale is on the line. And your time begins now. All right, let's do it. So this is the one side that I've got mapped out for you. I know that I only have time enough to do one side. Now it's not the time to bite off more than you can chew. Since we only have six hours and this is kind of a large tattoo, maybe just concentrate on one side. I just want to make sure that this one comes out the way it's supposed to. It looks like it's gonna be beautiful. There's no room for error whatsoever in the tattoo today. Where the Whatever you need it. to do Ooh. to make it look good. To fall short at fourth place would just be a devastating loss for me. After last night, I was like feeling really overwhelmed and started to freak out. I feel like I'm just not ready. Out of all the times to have a canvas have second thoughts, this is the worst possible time. There are four strong artists left. I do not want to get sent home because everybody else did a tattoo and I didn't. I don't want to wake up tomorrow and say, man, why did I, why did I do all that? I'm freaking out right now. What I did is I drew pretty much like line drawings of a bunch of different butterflies. Would you be opposed to not doing the really big one? I really just want to keep it not a lot going on. It doesn't matter if it's a huge tattoo or if it's a tiny tattoo. The precision that I can get in a tiny tattoo is just is nice. Still okay? Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be sitting for six hours. No, I did chemo. I can do this. I've got a lot of work in a short amount of time to do it. I have absolutely no wiggle room in this. It's nice that there's survivors like you that can go out there and go like, look, it's not the end of the world. To have that positive spin, I think, is really, really cool. So go ahead and take a look. Hmm. I don't know. Do you think that's good? I do. I mean, let me take a better look at it. This is not going well. I am running out of time. Four hours left, everybody. The biggest challenge is going to be to make sure that she gets exactly what she wants and that she feels beautiful. Last challenge, I was in the bottom and I just squeaked by. I have no choice but to do a perfect tattoo so I can make it to the final three. I can't believe how well you're sitting. Thank you again. I definitely like this. OK, you like the but, flow, but yeah, just too many. Just yeah, but I don't know how to make it more sparse. I just need to do a tattoo today. I think it's really good. I think we can commit to that as long as you feel it. Yeah, I'm good. I have to win this. I'm gonna make sure that all the skills that judges are looking for today, they can see within this tattoo. No one is taking that spot in the live finale for me. Two hours remain. Two more hours. All the scars and no nipples. You just don't feel feminine. So I, I think the tattoo is gonna bring back that feminine feeling. Time's up, machine's down, no more ink. I've been more nitpicky with this than any flower I've ever done in my whole <laughs> life. Pretty? Yeah. 
be okay. I love the highlights. It definitely could be any artist going home, but I believe that I earned my spot in the finale today. It is perfect. Oh my God. Artists, this was your last chance to prove that you deserve to compete in the live finale for $100,000, a feature in Inked Magazine, and the title of Ink Master. Sausage. Let's start with your mastectomy tattoo. The thing I like the most about this tattoo, I love the way it fits. I love that it's not symmetrical. I think it gives it a unique look. It's just a real quality job, man. Thank you. Thank you guys very, very much. This wasn't necessarily a cover of Scar challenge. The challenge was dealing with these ladies' situation and giving them something beautiful to be proud of. And just taking your time to do these really soft little detailed butterflies is very impressive. Maddie. Let me commend you on having good taste to pick the proper shaped flower to put on her chest. The way that the flower's closing on the outside and blowing open on the inside, you're drawing with a movement, and that's a great thing. Halo. You're a cancer survivor yourself. Yeah. Did this one hit home for you more so than... Dude, I've never stayed up till 3.30 in the morning drawing four flowers. <laughs> it was intense. Yeah. Well, Halo, man, I really love the way this tattoo fits. It flows with the curve of the body. I really like the soft, out of focus accents on the edges. It really does create that depth, and it creates different textures in the tattoo. Obviously, we have a huge decision ahead of us. Three of you will earn the opportunity to battle it out in the live finale, and one of you will pack your machines. Today, you had to prove that you have what it takes to compete in the live finale. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Sausage. Nice, dude. It showed a lot of ingenuity in putting this design together and really thinking outside the box instead of just doing a big cover-up. You've earned your spot in the live finale. Wow, thank you. Congratulations, man, you deserve it. This week, we're testing artistry. Artistry is the creativity that you're able to present in a tattoo. Without artistry, you're unable to make something awesome. Right now, more than 16 million Americans suffer from diseases caused by cigarettes. In the last 50 years, more than 20 million Americans have died from smoking. Your canvases today have quit smoking, but they're still paying the price. They all have permanent scars as a result. Today, you must help your canvases by making their scars disappear. Covering scars is really, really hard. Some scars do not hold any pigment at all, and sometimes it gets raised and puffed up and even more obvious than it was in the first place. Today's an important day. These people already have a lot that they're dealing with, and these scars remind them of their health battles in the past. And now it's your chance to turn your drawing skills on and camouflage their scars. You will have six hours to help your canvas by transforming their scar. And your time begins now. How are you, my friend? Hey, hey, come on over. How long did you smoke for? Since I was 14, stage four terminal cancer. How long did you smoke for? I started out at 13. Wow. And I, lung cancer was a 39. How much do you smoke? You smoke a About lot. About two packs a day. Oh, that's crazy. I had to have my lung removed because of it. Definitely makes me want to just quit this shit. We just told him that you're one of the top artists here. You'll do a killer job. Yeah. OK, we'll leave you to it. Nikki won't even talk to us. Like, she's so angry, she's literally fuming. Nikki's great with the dark, gothy, cathedral kind of shit. I thought she'd be happy. All right, let's do it. gonna do a Japanese dragon. I need to play it safe. Five more hours, five more hours. 
I've always wanted something like that on my body. Like. This is easily one of the most important tattoos I've done in my entire career. It's really just kids get freaked out about it, you know what I mean? But if it's a picture, they won't get freaked out about it. This guy is 21 years old, and he has a hole in his throat that children are afraid of. Here we go. This is my chance to make it just a little bit better. Wow. Everybody's going to be looking at your neck now. We're looking at my neck already. Yeah, in a good way, though, now. Stay very, very still for me. I want these lines to be super straight, OK? Ooh, stay very still. Just tell me to stop, and I'll stop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Scars have major tissue damage, so it's not an easy thing to endure. Good pain. My canvas taps, I'm gonna be so bummed out, not just for her, but for myself. I wanna win this challenge. Stay still for me, just do this stuff, okay? The girls are getting tighter every day. We can't let them get too far ahead of themselves. How are you holding that? That's a little more sensitive than I figured it would be. Unfortunately, my canvas, he's been through so many surgeries, his nerves are all up. One moment, he's fine, the next moment, <laughs> He's in excruciating pain. I might not be able to finish this tattoo, but we'll get through it, man. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Time's up. Machine's down. No more ink. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. That is beautiful. There you are. That's sweet. <laughs> Kelly's throat scar cover-up looks like a space jellyfish. No way she's going to win the skull pick today. Awesome. I love it. Thank you. All right, time to critique your work, and we will start with Kelly. How was it sitting with Kelly? Oh, she did a good job. I'm very happy with it. I understand not wanting to do a big black hole leading into a dark hole. That was definitely a smart, sensible play. But when I first look at it, you don't get this immediate sense of space and galaxy. The way you worked with the skin in that area, you have some amazing color blends, saturated color, and really bright color play. But you don't really get a space feel from a distance when you look at it. Eric. You've used his muscle shapes to contour the mechanisms you put in there. Definitely shows artistry. You did some really clean, strong outlining. Even though it's thin, it works really well with the contrast. I think you did a great job. Thank you. Sketchy lawyer. This tattoo came out super slick. Runs right at the middle of the scar. The feather texture really hides the scar tissue. From a distance, the lettering's a little busy. It's a little bit hard to read, but once you get up on it, it's super tight, technically done. Kevin. This tattoo overall looks really smooth. The nice texture in the fur, even over top of the heavy scarred areas, you got the same amount of nice shading over the top of the scar versus where the scar wasn't. It's a quality tattoo. Thank you. Tito. It definitely hid the scar, but as far as the overall shape of the tattoo, the way it fit on the back, it was a very odd placement. It's really not. Nice. He has a pretty considerable divot in his back, so to place it where it is, fit the flow of the back, and definitely fit the direction of the scar, in my opinion, it looks pretty good, man. Nikki. He had this crazy, weird dragon. You made what he had a lot better, and you got rid of the scar. The way that you use the scar tissue to play into that rocky texture, to camouflage it all and tie it in, really good. All of the boys in this house are definitely gunning for the girls. If I don't win this skull pick, I'm completely screwed. All right, guys, today you had to use artistry to transform a scar into a work of art. We look great as a group today. To give your canvases something to transform pain into things that they're happy about makes me happy to have you guys repping for us. The judges have decided that the winner of today's Flash Challenge is Nikki. Sweet. Thank you. It was super smooth. You had a lot of obstacles to tie in, the old tattoo, and overall, it just looked so slick. So today's elimination tattoo, we're testing your ingenuity by tattooing a cover-up. You have six hours, and your time starts now. You ready for this? Definitely. Ingenuity is very necessary to be able to do a cover-up. There's a lot of different elements understanding the positioning of the tattoo and being able to disperse light and dark evenly so it's not so obvious where the cover-up is. How are you feeling? Good? I'm fine. Samurai's don't hurt. 
<laughs> I am excited I get to do a samurai. I'm not so excited about the piece that I have to cover. What I'm worried is about the size. How the f am I gonna make this fast enough, smooth enough to finish on time? It's gonna be a long day. I don't want to approach this tattoo using a lot of black. I want to get some opaque grays in there. I want to use some kind of texture. I'm going to be with down to the wire, I think. I'm sure these other guys are underestimating me. It's my size right off the bat. It's something I've dealt with all my life, but that's what keeps me going. Sooner or later, they're going to respect me for what I do. Uh, you doing the white down? Yeah, right, right down this nose a little bit. The cover up, it's not covering. My last option is black. You know, that's one of the only places I can put a light color, light. you know what I mean? Because the cover up is all like right in the middle. I've been backtracking a little bit, second guessing myself, so I'm kind of running out of time. I gotta go with the black and I gotta get this tattoo covered. Five minutes left. Time is killing me. I'm really stressed because I don't want to compromise the quality of the tattoo, but I don't want to not finish the tattoo. Lalo. One of the most difficult things to cover up is parallel lines, and they took over the whole calf. I think it could have been better had you to add a little bit more flair. You got this big, dark, black ball down there. I think you're going to put some there, then put some there. This thing's lacking detail everywhere. I thought you were going to murder this thing, but it murdered you. Mike. I think I covered it pretty well. My client's first option was to do his dog, which was pure white. We all know that wouldn't happen. It's definitely one of those tattoos that's just got cover up written all over it. My first intention with the piece was to do some more hair texture, but I decided to abandon that, block in some solid color, and get that cover up done. If you pulled an American Pitbull reference and you saw that this part was lighter, you would have been able to shade in like some gray, even opaque, and kind of break up the darkness. And I think that's a big design flaw in your tattoo. Lalo, Mike, Trey, none of you impressed us today. Mike, you did a big, huge black tattoo. Not exactly what we're looking for. I think I made the right choice by pounding in the black because my first approach was to load it up with texture, but I don't think my client's skin could handle it. I'd rather be up here from pounding in solid black than have a screen full of chopped meat up there. Out of all of the bottom three here, the only person that still had a tattoo showing through a little bit was Trey. I mean, we are here to cover up tattoos. Lalo, you realize that the majority of everything that you're gonna be asked to do is gonna be pretty heavy outline. I think the weakest lines are the ones in the background, which I had to do in the end. But that's not an excuse to not do a good tattoo. I, I can't do clean outline. It's night and day, the performance, man. I hope you can turn it around because I'd like to see the good stuff that I know you have. Any one of you could justifiably be sent home. The judges have decided You do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. You're simply going home because your color palette is way off because you're in such a dark area. A lot of black, that sent you home today. Artists, today you must cover up a prison tattoo, proving your flexibility. You have six hours to tattoo, and your time begins now. My canvas wants a realistic baboon. It's a badass looking design but it's a lot of work to get done with all the texture and detail in six hours. Why'd you have to pick something with all that fur, man? I could be really shooting myself in the foot here. Frank. And this is a rough one, man. I tried to go a little bit ballsy. I knew there was gonna be a lot of detail. But the detail, this does not translate. If you just saw the tongue, you're not gonna know that's a tongue. Looks like a ball sack. <laughs> There's not one clean bit of outlining anywhere. You showed me everything you can't do. Don't do things to point out your weaknesses. Do things to point out your strengths. Maddie, how do you feel about what you did here? For doing a dragon, so I did pretty well. Towers are way off. The right side of the castle's taking a left. I did it on purpose. If you put this stencil on the skin and looked at those two towers and said, let's do this, that's not right. The area where the cover-up is is so much darker than any of the rest of this tattoo. That's 
gonna make you feel better. Yeah. Look at that, dude. That is super badass. His dragon's better than mine. Dude, that is bad as hell, man. The basic thing of this is to find the worst tattoo. Frank McManus, who feels that that should be one of the bottom? That would be mine. I was going for another pit bull, more realistic, and then we ended up doing a baboon. It looks like a dead baboon with a broken jaw. I believe you should have closed his mouth and showed more of the face. That might be the worst one. That's one of the bottoms. Does anyone feel that Maddie's tattoo should be on the bottom? Maddie was my artist. She wanted to redeem herself from yesterday. To me, I see there's no contrast between the castle and the dragon. If she would have made the dragon a different color? I wanted black and gray, though. That's what I wanted. So then where'd the red come from? She hurt me, bro. My sh screaming on fire. Her technique was not up to par. So we got Frank and we have Maddie. Maddie. You're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. Wow. <laughs> That's basically a non-tattooing eye calling you out. I think my design was great. Why do you have an erect tower and a leaning tower? It's like it's back here, like turned to the side. No, it's jacked. It's, it's not right. If I would have done a portrait, I could have shown, I'm, I'm a portrait girl. Frank. You didn't get any of the textures, from the hair to the mouth to the teeth. I really dug the mouth, man. We're missing everything to judge. I don't think all the shading's bad on that. Frank, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. There's not much in this to compare to the other two people that are in the bottom with you. You got outdone. Please pack your machines and close shop. You have six hours to show adaptability with a cover-up. Your time begins now. Pretty much the same thing, what I drew on you. Is there any way that you can move him over and take the Gavin here off mm -hmm. and then do like side ribbons? I really don't like this. The last thing I need right now is a headache. This is his son. I wanted kind of where I could put the kids under him. There's no way to try and peg that in. Stop hindering me with your ideas. I've been doing this for a while, and I have to do this to where it actually works. I got a bad canvas, man. Playing with color. What color the rose is going to be. My big secret is I'm partly colorblind. I haven't told anybody else in the house, but I'm partly colorblind. Jim, let's start with you. Doing these roses with all these yellow highlights in there and using that yellow as part of your cover-up, that is gonna show through. Would you rather me done to black roses? Definitely wouldn't have used yellow over the top of the old black line cover-up. You know better. For a cover-up, it's a fail. King Rock. This was a failed attempt from the design alone. To think that you're gonna put two gold horseshoes over the top of the darkest part of the tattoo, it's insane. A bunch of different ways you could approach that. A nice black and blue rose could have been the cover up. The horseshoes could have been behind it and banners under it. I've had some bomb canvases. There's 60 plus years of tattooing sitting at this table. You cannot tell me about a canvas. This simple, bold, traditional tattoo, anybody should have been able to just knock it out of the goddamn park. We're here to determine the worst tattoo of the day. That's my tattoo, and Jim is my artist. Can you guys see the old tattoo? Yes. What is that insect? It looks like a praying mantis with butterfly wings. The nine legs are killing me. I would be pissed with that. To me, it is phenomenal. I mean, I cried when I first saw it. That is my tattoo. My artist was King Ruck. I know that tattoo because I had it before, too. You still see the lines. Look in the horseshoes. Yeah, the lines like are this. still there. You yeah, can you can see still it. see the lines. I'm not pleased at all. The horseshoes, to me, look like cartoon magnets. The rose is pointed way down. Not to really piss you off, but I'm going to. That tattoo sucks. He didn't even listen to what, anything I said. Yeah, that sucks. Guys, do we have a decision? Definitely. Without a doubt. Jim, you're here because Halo put you up for elimination. Halo. Why did you choose Jim? Jim's didn't really do a cover-up, and I kind of figured Melissa and Ruck were gonna be on the bottom anyway. I didn't want my count to be useless, you know, a shell without a bullet, I guess. I can't really disagree with Halo. Cover-up, he didn't do it. Judge me off my history. All I ever do is just clean work. King Ruck, you're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. I know what I did. Of course, it's not my best tattoo, but I know that I'm a good tattoo artist. You did definitely drop the ball on this one. The judges have decided.
King Ruck. You do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. The judges have also decided. Jim, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. This tattoo, it's see-through. And for a cover-up, that's a no-go. Both of you, please pack your machines and close shop. There was a lot of tattoos that were done today that were not good. Tell Kyle Dunbar that he should have been down here. Okay, guys, you have six hours to help your canvases by covering a tattoo that they regret. And your time starts now. Nikki has given me the guy who wants the surfer. He looks so, like, serious. <laughs> But my biggest issue is my design. I can't get this water right, and I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to hide this old tattoo completely. And what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to make like a design under the board, too, so that way I don't have to try to do too much. The guys, we're already screwed. The girls keep gaining momentum, and it's going to be hard to stop them at this point. My canvas wanted a bunch of different elements, but after talking and consulting, I'm going to do two realistic three-dimensional roses and a nice little skull. Ooh. Trying to one-up me with some roses, huh? You doing roses? Yeah. Damn it. As a realism artist, I'm excited about this. If I were at home, this would be right up my alley. Boneface. You're consistent with application. It's just here you're really challenged artistically. The first thing is the fluidity of the water. It's very stagnant and stiff. It should flow. The water that's flying, to me, they look a bit like teeth. The hands are really funny to me. And then this board that doesn't really look like a surfboard. It looks like an ironing board to me. Your problem in this is your planning and your execution of how to get this design to fit into the new design that you have. Kevin. At first glance, the tattoo's nice. But why, again, no outlines today? I'm a realism artist. To put lines in something realistic doesn't make sense to me. I never do a tattoo without an outline. It looks great in the photo now, but in one or two years, all those reds are gonna bleed together, and all that detail is gonna go away. If you're not willing to do those outlines, you're gonna have a rough time, because the outline in here is always gonna win. All right, time to hear from the jury of peers. Why did you vote bone face to the bottom? This tattoo is just not good looking. It just looked like a cover-up. It's fair. I know improvements that I could have made, and I know where I messed up at. I don't like to make excuses. How you were going to work this either into the new image or covering it. You did a partial redo and a partial cover-up. Both failed in this. Let's move along to Kevin. I like the tattoo overall. Again, I think an outline is going to make things a little bit better. I consciously went in it knowing I wasn't going to put outlines in it. It's crazy to me, man. If I was in a competition where the people judging me were telling me advice, I'd listen to them. Time to decide who's going home. Robert. Boneface. Boneface. My vote is also for Boneface. The judges have decided. Boneface. You do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. You have six hours to tattoo a cover-up. And your time starts now. Shrink it by like 20%, because you also see because of the shape of her body, your circle doesn't stay a circle. My you trouble was better. that if I shrunk it, the whole body it's gonna get real dark. would be black. So then what if you just literally just move the whole thing down a bit? I tried that before. And it was just too much on her butt. Also, and yeah, it was it was too much. OK, on so then straight up, lose the circle. Don't do the circle? Just don't do the circle. OK. All right, you ready? Yep. did exactly you what you told me not to do. just the most exquisite listener I have ever met in my life. You are I want to prove to myself that I can do this, that I can do a good tattoo, a solid tattoo. Throughout my career, I've been told that I won't get that far and all that stuff. Yeah. So am I brave enough to step forward and be vulnerable? And I think that is a huge thing for me. Like You achieve the cover-up fine. It's the rest of the tattoo that falls short. It's a pretty clunky design. The fact that this branch only just goes one way and all sticks tied together, you could have done something different with it just to make it a little more attractive at first glance. 
I hate this tattoo. There's a tree branch growing out of this woman's ass. Also, there's a back that is creasing. That is swelling. No, what is swelling is the surrounding area within the What is the swelling is your head right now thinking you got us when you're gonna go home. Really, you're talking about big heads right now, my I'm Sorry, girl, but if I had that tattoo, I would have to cover up another cover up. My canvas loved it, so I'm gonna stick behind it. Do it. I'll behind you with it too, so. Somebody's gotta. Janelle. You have an attractive looking tattoo. You do a great job with the cover up. There's nothing that's gonna show through from that tattoo. But you did a very flat, non-detailed image. Your outlines are pretty shaky in here. The outline on the top of the head, the outline around the bottom of that black hook on the leaf on the bottom, there's challenges left and right on this bad boy. We both could have banged that thing out with that much detail in two hours. I think that you're trying to save some people. I'm not trying to save anybody because I'm not blind right here, man. Everybody here up. 100%. The thing that we are known for doing in this competition is putting ink in skin. Who did that the best and who did it the worst? That being stated, I would sway my vote to Janelle. The judges have decided, Janelle, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Those technical things are what it is. I appreciate you guys. I'm taking everything in. Maybe next time. Janelle, you're badass. Please pack your machines and close shop. Good job. Raymond, welcome back. Thank you. So your artist was Lydia. Yes, she was. For this flash challenge, you must tattoo a scorpion or a tarantula. I hate well. spiders. Sorry. Please tell me that you do not want a spider. I do. Oh my god. I can't even believe I'm doing this right now. Are not you nervous at all? Not at all, man. I was no. an army it's ranger not. for a while. I'm like super yeah. nervous. Really? Are you nervous? Yeah. I don't know. That's crazy. I think she was in over her head. I just reassured her the whole time. Normally, it's the other way around. The artist will try and make the canvas exactly. feel better. The tattoo originally looked fairly decent, but a day later, all the ink started to rise to the skin. From what I was told from other artists, it was just the skin was overworked, so yeah. the skin couldn't take the ink. The last thing I would want to do is provide you with a traumatic experience. And this thing, <laughs> obviously, yeah. is something that you're not happy with. You know I have Lydia here. If you guys can squash this, I'd like to offer you a rework of this tattoo. Maybe get it covered with something else. That sounds good. Why don't you head in there and have a chat with her? Okay. Oh my goodness. Is it safe to come shake your hand? Yeah, it's safe. How are you doing? Yeah. I had a feeling it would be you. Why? Your tattoo was one of the first challenges we had. I was super nervous. I can um, tell. Now, have a seat. Talk to me. What's going on here? Well, that's what happened. It was overworked. It was cold, dark, and they had spiders there. I'm petrified of spiders. This is kind of putting me in a whole pattern because yeah. I can't do nothing around that. I want to get tattoos done, but I just didn't know what to do with it. Most artists, they don't like to touch other people's work, especially when it's a mess up. How are you with cover-ups? I do actually do cover-ups every day. I definitely would like to try to not see that in you. Right. Yeah. What are you thinking? Do you have any ideas? I have nothing on my body that says I was a soldier. Some of the things, you know, I thought of was like a soldier with um, half a face and then half a skeleton inside the helmet. A helmet here actually would cover that up. This show's a little less stressful, so it wouldn't be like a stressful thing for you again, right? I'm not trying to make excuses. Here in the now, in the moment, I would love to make it right. During the competition, I was pretty stressed out and anxious. Uh, I kind of got a little bit of artistic block. I don't feel that I showed what my art was all about. So I do want this redemption really bad. Lydia, come on down. What did you guys talk about in terms of a new design? A soldier um, in a helmet. Sticking facial. in a military theme. Yeah. So Raymond, you want to take a look at the design that Lydia came up with? I do. Let's take a look. You wanted a soldier with a half skull face. I put the American flag in the back. The helmet is actually what's going to be the cover-up, so the spider's going to sit in here. I'll have to put it on your arm to see how it looks and how it flows. I want to make it right. I want you to love this tattoo. That kind of looks like the vision that I got in my head. This is totally up to you. Do you want to get this tattoo, or do you want to get out of here? I think it's something I could wear. That's a for sure yes, correct? Yes, it is. <laughs> How's that feel for you? Feels awesome. Why don't you guys get to work, and I will check in in a little while. All right, cool. No more spider. Daddy long gone. Daddy long gone. You said you were in the Army, right? Yeah, that was in a long time because I was enlisted in the Army in 1985, So, but I was still in high school. 
95 went to Bosnia when it was um, pretty hellish. So, so it's like yeah. your whole life. You're, it, yeah, to the end of 2005. Well, I, I personally want to thank you for your service. I appreciate it's it. It's one of the reasons it meant a lot to me that you got this tattoo and that we do it right. I think that's it. Check it out. That is killer, boy. My favorite part is just the face in there. That's exactly what I wanted. I mean, look at me. I've got the goosebumps just talking about it. It's awesome. I love it. Million dollar question. Did I get my redemption? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Makes me so happy. It feels great that he loves it. My experience this time around is amazing. There's less stress. I can actually be an artist. There's no time limits. I'm leaving a happy little girl. Thank you for letting me do this. Thank you. Bruce, welcome back. Thank you. And you brought along Chrissy, your wife. Yes. Bruce, what brings you here? The tattoo Clint gave me. For this elimination tattoo, we want you to terrify us with a horror tattoo. Clint, because you won the flash challenge, you now have the power to assign all the human canvases. I want to get a big, badass vampire. If I can do a cool vampire girl, but maybe your hand in front of her, okay. blood, good vampire eyes, I can guarantee you right now I'm going to kill this thing. I feel like he lost it. What happened to the back of her head? Just collapsed in. There's no ear, there's no cheek, there's no head. I think for as, as limited as the tattoo was, I did fairly no, well. No, but your challenge is texture. You gotta do the hair. You gotta make that hair look feathery and blowing. Yeah, I dropped the ball. You didn't do texture. Now he selected you as his own canvas, is that correct? That is correct. You know, when I told him a vampire and he chose it, I just assumed it was something he'd be able to accomplish. But you could see he was doing something he wasn't familiar with. What did you think of this tattoo when he came home with it? I thought her hair looked like she's got spaghetti in her hair and she has scales. Vampires yeah. don't have scales. The hand doesn't look like it's anatomically correct. And you can't tell it's really a vampire. It's not something you can cover unless you're wearing long sleeves. This is somewhere everyone's gonna see and it looks like Why are you here today? Make sure he doesn't get another tattoo like that. So you don't want to see another one of these no. things go down. <laughs> so Bruce, Chrissy, Clint is here. What he doesn't know is that you're here. Here's what's gonna happen. What I can offer you is a brand new tattoo, provided you get along, provided you want to move forward. And Chrissy is here to make sure this doesn't go south again. Yeah. Yes. You guys willing to do that? Yes. Yes. Why don't you head in the shop and see Clint? Clint left me with a really bad tattoo. He left me with a nightmare. He should have told me that this was a new style for him. I don't want to be his guinea pig, and I guess I was. Remember me? Yeah. From the horror episode? This horrible tattoo you gave me there? You should know better than to uh, pick a genre you don't know what to do. Portraits, realism. Uh, I tried to do the best that I could. I got to live with this forever. It's not a bad tattoo. No, it's, it's a bad tattoo. It's a bad tattoo. Looks like spaghetti on the hair. And what's up with the hand? If you look at the neck, it's not even like anatomically correct. We have to walk around with that. I tried to do something that, you know, I thought was gonna help me win. And under the time restraints and the pressures of the show, I wasn't able to so do you, it as you choose a, you chose something you knew you couldn't do with a time restraint. Well, no, I'm not a guinea pig. I'm really sorry you're unhappy with it. You gotta give me something more than your word. All I can say is I'm sorry I disappointed you. It wasn't my intentions. This tattoo, by far, is one of the ones that I wish I could have a chance to go back and do it again, but we can make this right. I know that I can take my time and give you an awesome tattoo. You know, I'm not 100% sold, but I'm here. I'm gonna see what you have to show me. I want you to do something that you feel comfortable that you can do. Obviously, I've grown since the time that I was on the show till now. I'm really, really confident on what I can you know, do for you today. I like to stay with the uh, horror theme if I can. Horror is such a broad genre. I like the gore. The we gore, go more I'm towards thinking, the gore. I'm thinking maybe like, you know, some really cool skulls and, and things of that nature, you know, the whole gory kind of yeah, look like that. That sounds good. This is a very, very good opportunity to make you happy. Give me a little bit of faith here and I'm gonna give you something that you're gonna love. After seeing this, I'm not confident. What do you think? He really has to prove himself. We really don't want another mistake, another error for life. And it's on your arm where anyone can see it. Can't go through it again. No. I'm a little nervous to show them this design because, I mean, I've already failed them so much last time, and I gotta knock this out of the ballpark if I wanna have any kind of hope for redemption here. Clint, come on up. 
Were you able to air your grievances, both of you guys? I know you had some concerns about this. Hopefully he'll draw something this time that he's more comfortable with. And if it doesn't look right, I'm not gonna let him get it. What did you ask Clint for this time? More in the horror realm, just to go with the, the sleeve. I'm not a super horror guy, more of a new school kid, but I did find a good medium. Ready to take a look at this design? I've been ready, yes. I try to draw this so that way it can incorporate with that. It's gonna have to sit kind of like this. Which way will that image be facing on me? Actually, when you're, it's gonna be like this. So this is like the, the front half. It's gonna actually be like right here. And then this right here, this curve right here is actually this back half. So, so when you're gonna, done, it's, it's gonna, gonna be a full right here, forearm. Right. Fit the whole forearm. Yeah. Gotcha. Ultimately, it's up to you guys. Closure for you, redemption for Clint. What's it gonna be? You can pull that off? Yes, sir. We don't leave this place until you're absolutely happy. Guarantee it. All right, let's do it. Yeah? Yes, sir. Right. Awesome. Thank you so much, brother, no for the problem. opportunity, man. No problem. I'm gonna make you happy, I promise. Good luck, guys. Get to it. All right, brother. You know how this goes. Yeah, man. Were you worried that Bruce and I were going to say no about the design? Yeah, actually, I was very nervous. It's very important to me that everybody that I tattoo is happy with what I do, and I'm um, thankful that you guys are giving me this chance to redeem myself. I'm just worried, because with the last tattoo, he's covered his arm from other people, so they wouldn't see it. It sucks. It sucks knowing that I let you guys down like that, and you guys had to pay the price for that. I'm going to make damn good and sure that doesn't happen again. You know, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for me, so I'm not going to fail you. There's no way. Hopefully you'll uh, be a man of your word and make this the best tattoo ever. Very good. You want to take a look? Yeah, definitely. Oh, wow. That's cool. That's the Clint I know. There you go. That's, That's what cool. I like to hear. His eyes are really, really amazing. Bruce, Chrissy, Clint, let's bring it down. Wow. Fits in there nice, too, man. It really does scream from across the room. Are you happy with the tattoo? I mean, in fact, it doesn't matter what you think. Chrissy. Yes, <laughs> I'm very happy with the yeah. tattoo. He definitely did an amazing job on Bruce's arm. What do you think? I love it. A redemption for this guy? <laughs> you got my redemption. There you go. There you go. That's what I love Congratulations, to hear. Thank man. Thank you, brother. No problem. Nice, man. Thank for you. Real. I couldn't be happier because I finally got to do something that I'm proud to say that I did. He loves it. Chrissy loves it. It was a win for Team Clint today. All right, guys. Congratulations, Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Now I can't wait to go out and show this one off. This is an example of when Clint does his own thing and he does his style, he knocks it out of the park, man. That thing is badass. The guy's super stoked. I'm happy for Clint. Stephanie, your artist was Sebastian. Yeah. Well, that brings us to this week's elimination tattoo, cover-ups. You got an idea what you want to get? A large beach scene, like the sand and the ocean. Is that right? That is right. <laughs> you not get a Sebastian? I have no idea what on a realistic beach could cover a solid black sun. I don't know what this thing's going to look like in 10 years. It's going to end up touched up. We're looking for longevity. I can't give you a win if your tattoo won't be around to be judged in 10 years. You're here because you're not happy. Yeah. Initially, the colors look really pretty. Yeah. So a lot of people will come and be like, wow, that's really nice. And then it's always the, what is that? And I'm like, oh, it's a beach. And they're like, what? Is that a bush? Honestly, like, it is embarrassing. What does your husband think of it? When I first came home, he's kind of like, wait, what? What is that? You don't have to see it every day. Oh, well, he does. Not, exactly. I feel worse for him than for you. How does the tattoo look now? The tribal sun, you can still see it. Through the bush? Through the bush. So it wasn't really even a successful cover-up. You know I have Sebastian here in the shop. Right. I'm giving you the opportunity okay. to talk to him, confront him, squash whatever you have with him, and possibly get this thing fixed. He's like a cocky guy, you know, so I don't know like how open he is to hearing like that I'm not happy, mm -hmm. but I definitely want to tell him. You talk to him about reworking this thing, you can get it or you can walk away. Everything is up to you. Cool with that? Yeah, definitely. All right, why don't you head into the shop? Okay, great. The thought of having to wear this tattoo forever is really just not even an option. 
I really would just want to kind of call him out in a sense of you are a better artist than this, so I don't understand why the tattoo I have doesn't match what you are supposedly capable of doing. Oh my goodness. What on earth? You remember it, right? Yeah, yeah. You, I, I remember the level of difficulty. But at the same time, I kind of feel like it could have been executed better. I think you were trying uh, to play it safe. No, Would I, you want a, a mediocre tattoo? What you have isn't mediocre. I don't ever try to give anybody mediocre. I feel that you should have given me some better suggestions or even telling me like, okay, listen, photorealism's not gonna work because you need an outline. It did work. You can see the sun coming through. Let me see. In the bush. Mm. Okay. Right? Okay. Now I see being that it's done what it's done, I, I can go more on there. I'm, I'm, I can save you. Come on, man, I gotta show off. So do you think that you can eliminate the bush? That's where I'm like torn because I don't wanna stay with something that I don't like mm -hmm. and then just keep digging that hole deeper and deeper. I am so nervous right now that he has to cover up a cover up of a cover up. Okay, if there was nothing there, what would you want? I don't know what's going to be effectively able to come. It doesn't matter what's effectively okay. able. That's my job. Okay, that's fair. So what do you want? Okay, so basically there's certain flowers that I'm cool with. Peacock, um, owls. I mean, even if it's a combination of peacocks and flowers, I just want to have a tattoo that I'm happy with, that I love. I am very nervous though. No, you should be. Cover-ups are by far tougher than a regular tattoo. Initially, it was a cover-up challenge anyway. So I'm gonna earn my redemption the way it should be earned. I'm gonna do what I set out to do the first time, and I'm gonna do it right this time. Sebastian, come on down here. So what did you end up doing for Stephanie with the design? Yeah, a complete cover-up. A complete cover-up. Have you ever completely covered up a piece of work that you've done before that was already a cover-up? This is um, the third time. You know, no, I actually haven't done that That's before. That's crazy, right? It's the first time for you, and you nervous? How do you feel I am, about I'm this? still a little nervous, because I don't want it to be worse than what it looks like now. I don't know if that's possible. Well, I was going to say, it can only go up from here, yeah. but I am nervous. All right, Sebastian, ready to present this design? Yes, sir. Stephanie, are you ready to check it out? I am ready. All right, buddy, let's take a look at this. Just the rough colors. I didn't sit down and sharpie paint everything in, but. Wow. Tell me how this is gonna cover up the existing tattoo. The bush at the bottom is about yay wide. Mm -hmm. When I run this blue through there, that dark blue is going to bury that green. There's no way that green's gonna be able to push through that dark blue. I'm, I'm surprised. Why are you surprised? You know he's a great artist. But a lot of your work that I've seen can be like, not so peacock flowery. All right, redemption on the line for Sebastian and for yourself, frankly. Yeah. Do you want to get this today? I do want to get that. That's what I like yes, to hear. Yes, I do. I think it came out beautiful. Ready to bang this out? Oh, yeah. All right, buddy, let's do it. Uh, yes. All right, yeah. good luck, Thank Steph. You. Thank you, Dave. Good okay. luck. It's big, it's a lot of coverage, and I'm not convinced yet that that's going to cover up that bush. That bush is really, really dark. I could be wrong. So let's see what happens. Holy What if it's perfect? I think I got a winner. Well, don't like make it fit. Like no, make I sure don't. it actually does fit. I can't make it fit if it doesn't, you know? I know, I just don't want to have to do it three times. It really is beautiful. But like, I'm also second guessing everything. Should I look at the stencil first before you? Nah, nah, nah. I mean, I'm going to look at it. Of course. OK. When he showed me the beach scene, at that time, I was like, woohoo! So, fingers crossed. Now I can let you look at the stencil. OK. So, OK, so wait. This here, this is just going to be the shape of the shading? Yeah. OK, perfect. Trust me. Very nice. OK. We'll be starting now. Was that horrible? I think it's definitely maybe more painful than childbirth. Now, all right. Hop up. Take a look. Okay. 
Oh, I'm like, I'm so excited. Hold on. <gasps> oh my goodness. I can't even. Oh, yay! It's so funny. Oh, yay! It's so exciting. Let's talk about some cover ups. Guys, come on down. Let me take a look at this thing. Yeah. Wow. You can't see it at all. You wouldn't even know that there was something under what's here. Two times. And because... then something under that. This is a double cover up. Ultimately, redemption for Sebastian? Absolutely. I'm so happy and I'm proud. happy to hear that, because you do not want to cover that up. <laughs> no. It's really cool that she's that excited. I mean, because that's what I strive for. I think that's redemption. I'm Stephanie, done. congratulations. Thank you. Sebastian, you. well done, buddy. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Congratulations. Welcome, Len, and welcome, Ricky. Thank you. Okay. It's kind of defeated as soon as I, I turned over the skull. You must redesign a famous landmark as a new school tattoo. New school Statue of Liberty with Twin Tower uh, light beams in the background. It's up to Tito. Are you going to do those raisin blue or not? I was talking with my guys, and they say they look better straight, so I don't want to like, color in. You don't think it will look better colored in? No. The mouth is completely jacked. Seven points on a crown, you have six. I'm a patriotic person. Yep. I mean, it's embarrassing to look at. My statue has six points. The Statue of Liberty has seven for the seven seas. There's no torch. The torch is a symbol of freedom. Yeah. It's not there. Yeah. So everything that this is supposed to symbolize, it doesn't. What do you do for a living? I'm a police officer. Well, he's also 23 years military. And wow. he was a first responder for 9-11. So this is clearly an emblem that means the world to you. He wanted the blue lights to symbolize the Twin Towers. And I asked him, I said, are you going to color in those lights blue? You know, and he said, no, nah, the other artist said it looks better like that. Vital elements that you wanted in these tattoos, and they were just kind of tacked in. It wasn't important to him, so. All right, well, Tito's here in the shop. He doesn't know that you're here. You want to go have a chat? Oh, absolutely. Head on Thanks. into the shop. Thank you. Thanks, guys. I am aggravated with Tito. It's just a disrespectful tattoo to me. That's what you do. You're on Ink Master. Oh. You're crazy. Next time, you come with a better idea. What about my idea? That's simple. A Statue of Liberty. You agree when I did it. What about the lines? I told you. I said, hey, I was one of the people who went to the World Trade Center. Remember I said that? And you were like, oh, yeah, I'm from North Jersey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll do that. Do you that. see the Twin Towers? Is that respectful? We don't, have time. We, we don't have time for it. You remember the torch? You said, yeah, we'll have the Statue of Liberty. I couldn't do it. The torch. You couldn't do it. I'm not going to do it. You're not a good artist. You didn't want to do it. 23 years in the military. And he walks around with a floating head with a duck face and the wrong amount of points. You don't think that's embarrassing? Look at it. Hey, man, you signed for you this. You have nothing to say. Because you signed for this. I signed for a good tattoo. It is a good I'm tattoo. I'm going to Ink Master. It's it the tattoo. best in the country. Obviously, the one of the worst. Guys, I don't suck a scenario. I can prove you Apparently right you now. Do. Len, Tio, come on over here. What's going on? I got a disrespectful tattoo on my leg. Is there anything that can be done here that can make you guys happy and get Tito some redemption? Would you guys be down with consulting? to see what the guy can offer you, provided we can move through the hostility. You screwed up two tattoos. Now I'm going to say, hey, you can tattoo me again. I was under pressure, and it was new school, something that I don't do. I came here for you guys. It's just about making you guys happy. Talk with Tough Tito. Come up with a concept. You draw it up. If you look at the design and you're into it, let's do it. If you're not into it, you're out of here. I don't think it's going to hurt you guys to at least see what the gentleman can do. Let's do it, I guess. Len, good luck. Okay, thank you. Good luck. Thank you. All right, guys, head in the shop. I'm really on the fence about Len giving Tito a second chance. Even if we like this design, we have to trust Tito to execute it. And in the past, he didn't follow through. Honestly, I want to cover that up because I just don't want you to walk with that. It's bad. You let me do something Japanese in your back, coming almost like a sleep, but like a nice big Japanese koi. I can cover it in a heartbeat. You're not even going to see nothing. What if it's not a koi? I mean, uh, to cover that up, I need repetitive layers, like the scale. So as far as covering that up, a koi fish is pretty much my only option. Something with the dragon head, koi dragon. A koi dragon? What is that? You have the shape of the koi, and uh, we put a dragon. It's like, it's changing. It's not you, and I don't think you'll like it in the end. Could you draw up, like, a cover-up and draw up something totally different? Let's throw something new, then. So doing something new, you could do biomechanical? Okay. I ride Harleys, so something to that effect with mostly all black, but have like blue highlights in it. I draw both. I'll show you a sketch. So take a seat. Let's see, what are you thinking? If I'm going to do the cover up, the style is one of the big hang ups for me. Do you think you can sit there and let him do something on you again? 
shame on us if we do it a third time. We don't have to leave it anything either. True. I don't want him to walk on the street with that statue of liberty on my name. If he let me do the cover-up, I'm 100% on getting my redemption. Hi, guys. Tito. So how did the consultation go? A couple different options, I guess, we talked about. Uh, maybe a cover-up, and then the other one is different. something completely different, like biomechanical. Let's talk about uh, the cover-up. Now, for me to look at this piece, that would take some doing to cover it up. What are your ideas there? Use some greens in order to use the greens of the other Sato Liberty and blacks and nice flow in the leg, swimming up. Thought more of like a dragon head. That's pretty much a dragon head. Maybe a longer neck. OK. The fish stands out. It's hard to see the dragon. These things are, are weird because they're morphing. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the next design. Got some piston. We got some gears. More like inside of the motor of the Harley. So just remember, he can cover it or the biomech or you guys can go home. It's completely up to you. You guys want to take a few minutes and talk among yourselves? Sure. What do you think? I don't know. What about biomechanical? I couldn't really see what it was. So you don't want that at all? I don't think so. I think the cover-up is the only option at this point. But I think he's got to be willing to change some. So what did you guys talk about? At this point, I think my only option really to me would be the cover-up. What about adding other fish into it? Uh, what do you mean adding other one? Like two? What about three? <sighs> if I may chime in, when it comes to Japanese style tattooing, there are very Specifics. specific fundamental rules. I've seen some stuff where it was just a koi family, just so it has some symbolism to me. One koi dragon and then two koi fish. Yes. So I will freehand on you. That sounds like multiple sessions. No. Really? Yeah. Don't worry about it. What do you think? You doing it? Yeah. Let's go. Take a look at it. Let's see. Yeah, that's awesome. Definitely like the uh, blue dragon. You know, a darker body, but a blue head. It's awesome. You put it all in there, and all the bad stuff's gone. I appreciate you trust me again to give you a nice work, you know what I mean? And it's something that I love to do. I definitely didn't make a mistake having Tough Tito tattoo me the second time. He did everything that I asked him to do and better. I'm good with wearing this tattoo the rest of my life. Thanks, Thanks. man. Thank you. My appreciate pleasure. It. My pleasure. Thank you. All right, Len, come on down, Tito. Can I take a look? Yeah, absolutely. Wow. That's crazy, dude. You can't see the statue anymore. That's the biggest part for me. Knocked it out of the park. You look really happy. I'm so happy. I love it. Are you being moved to tears a little I bit? I am. How does it feel to see that, bro? Um, I feel awesome. It's awesome that they let me work out again with them. So I got to ask both of you guys, is that redemption for Tito? Definitely redemption. Absolutely. Man, I'm so happy for Thank you. you. Appreciate it. And Thank I will say, pleasure. dude, this is the greatest thing you've done here. Yes, I mean, I had the opportunity. I'm going to take it. I'm really happy for you guys. Thank you. Right on, dude. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Appreciate it.